Ted Brooks with the Sports Profits bringing you my free college football analysis and breakdown. Make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free breakdown for two games, Friday night and Saturday night. Before we get into those games, subscribe to the channel, bring us the love, and we'll keep bringing you the winners. Let's dig into it. Our first game is set to kick off at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday night. Let's dig into it. The Wake Forest travels to Virginia to take on the Cavaliers. The total is set at 68.5, and Virginia is a four-point favorite. Now, Wake Forest comes into this contest with a 3-0 record, 1-2 against the spread, though. Handily beat FSU last week, jumping out to an early lead, never looking back. They're getting it done on both sides of the ball. Offensively, they're averaging 424 total yards per game. 39.3 points, very nice stuff. Tied for 29th overall in entire college football. Their quarterback, Sam Hartman, has completed 57 of 83 of his passes for 691 yards, six touchdowns, one interception. He rushed for 66 yards and a touchdown as well, so a little bit of mobility there. Defensively, they're only allowing 322 yards per game, giving up 13.3 points per contest. Looking solid, looking resilient. They're going up against Virginia's high-powered passing attack, and they have a lot to prove. Virginia's passing game ranks second in the nation. Nothing to be scoffed at. Let's dig into something else in this in this one right here, okay? Virginia's offense, their quarterback, Brandon Armstrong, 87 of 121, 1298 yards, 11 touchdowns, just two on the ground as well. Very, very good stuff. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, defensively, Virginia hasn't been terrible, but they really struggled last week against North Carolina, giving up 59 points to the Tar Heels. Virginia has not been terrible defensively, but they struggled last week, like I said. So we really need to look at this. And let's look at some trends really quickly here. All right. Now, I'm going to bring you guys some trends for this Wake Forest. Wake Forest is 6-0 and against the spread in their last six against Virginia. 7-3 and straight up in their last 10. Now, yes, they are 1-4 and in their last five against the spread overall. But they are crushing Virginia. They have Virginia's number. Virginia is covering the spread as of late, 7-2. and but when playing at home against Wake Forest, like I said before, one and six against the spread, that is not going to fare well or bode well for them. I think Wake Forest covers the spread. We love them plus four. That's what you're taking for Friday night. Let's go to the Saturday slate now. 12th ranked Notre Dame travels to take on 18th ranked Wisconsin afternoon game. Wisconsin's a six and a half point favorite. The total is set at 46.5. Notre Dame comes into this one 3-0, and but their wins are coming mostly due to their offense. They're putting up a hair under 435 yards per game and averaging 33.3 points per contest, top 50 in the nation. Defensively, 26.7 points per game, not necessarily going to cut it against Wake Forest. Wisconsin 1-1, one one. they lost a tough game in Week 1 against Penn State, but followed up strong. Last week, 34-7 against Eastern Michigan. Very impressive stuff. Typical Wisconsin team, tough, grinded, defensive football games. Their offense has not been bad. 22 points a game only, but their defense, stifling. They've allowed a total of 66 rushing yards in their first two games. 23 total points, not average, on the whole season. All right, so... Like I said, that Penn State game was was a tough one for them, but they gave them a run of their money. Now, Notre Dame needed to go to overtime to beat an FSU team that lost the week to Jack, lost the next week to Jacksonville State and Toledo, who has a, a very poor um, per performance after Notre Dame also. Notre Dame quarterback Jack Cohn has been great, but he's going up against a Wisconsin defense like nothing he has ever seen before this year. Wisconsin showed they're able to hang with the best with them. They're gritty, okay? Couple trends. Notre Dame 2-4 and four against the spread in their last six. Wisconsin 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven. But Wisconsin is 6-0 and oh in their last six games played on a week four. We think Notre Dame doesn't have the ability to get it done. We're taking Wisconsin 
on the spread, minus six and a half. If you can get that line to six, I would do it at Wisconsin, minus six. That's all we have for the day. I hope you enjoy these two games. Like I said, guys, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube page. Bring us the love. Leave us comments. Um, not negative stuff, positive stuff. And if you don't like our pick, if you think that Notre Dame's going to win or if you think that um, Virginia's going to win either of these two matchups, let us know and let us know why. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow for more college football breakdowns.